Hey everyone, welcome back to Miniature Painting 101, a series of videos where I teach you all about painting miniatures, miniature painting, yes. And this is part 66, brass. Time to paint some metallic brown brass. Yes. And today, of course, we're going to be painting over a black prime miniature. You always want to paint, if possible, paint brass over a black surface because the metal tends to sit the best, uh, the metallic pigments over a black prime miniature. It's just to get the best shine and, and the best overall appearance. And today we'll be using four paints. Uh, we'll be using Brass Scorpion as the foundation color. And as you can see with the Games Workshop paints, they're luckily labeled as brass. Uh, so Brass Scorpion, Agrix Earthshade to give it the, um, the depth, and then Rune Lord Brass and Golden Griffin as highlights. We're actually using Golden Griffin, which is an old gold color uh, from the dry range, but it's gonna be a good combination with this. So we'll start off with Brass Scorpion. I do thin it down slightly, of course, with uh, paint thinner, some thinner medium, because you don't want it to go on too clunky. The metallics from Citadel tend to go on just a little thick and can obscure details. So to prevent that, I'm gonna do two uh, relatively thinner coats of Brass Scorpion, as opposed to one thick coat of Brass Scorpion, which could obscure the details. And for the second coat, I'm just gonna go over the areas that really need it. Uh, some parts will come in a little thinner than others, and that way you get a nice uniform appearance before proceeding to the shades. So right now I'm just applying it to the miniature, this nice thinner version of Brass Scorpion, and just getting a nice consistent coverage over the surface of the miniature. Brass is a really nice color and it doesn't tend to be used as much as golds or silvers or even bronzes. So I really like painting brass whenever I can and I really like my brass to be slightly aged which is why we're going to use a shade later to, uh, to dull it down and then build back up the shine so that way it's a bit aged look of a brass as opposed to the perfectly very shiny brass which is just new and, and good uh, since we're, you know, 40k especially is, is uh, so the future in a, in a war society, you really want it to be aged because no one would have a pristine new armor made of brass. And as you can see here, I'm just with a second coat, I'm just applying the brass scorpion once again. Just make sure that you get nice consistent coverage before proceeding to the next step. And also, of course, let it completely dry before proceeding to a second layer. And then let this completely dry before proceeding to the shades. Um, this type of metallic can show brush strokes, so it's a good idea to not paint over a half dry surface. So now we're gonna take Agrax Earth Shade. Uh, it's a very, it's a brown shade. And since brass is one of the more deep brown metallics, it's a perfect match for this, uh, for this metallic. And we're just gonna take the Agrax Earth Shade directly from the bottle and apply it to the entire surface of the miniature. And this Agrax Earth Shade is going to get in the recesses, give a lot of depth, uh, just go in the crevices, and, uh, and it's going to age the mo the model significantly. It's going to because every time you use one of these shades, it tends to have a very matte effect on the metallics. So your two choices then after that are leave it that grungy matte appearance or build up the uh, some layers of shine back in the surfaces uh, that are facing the light source or facing upwards, and that. Therefore, the crevices are going to remain uh, dark and grungy, but the other areas will be uh, a bit more shine to them. And that's my favorite way of painting bra uh, brass. That way it's a realistic, more aged appearance. As you can see, once I just start a surface, I'm gonna paint the, put the uh, Agrax Earth Shade entirely over it before proceeding to the next surface. Because you don't wanna accidentally leave uh, semi-dry lines when using shades. I'm just applying it very carefully. He's just using a nice synthetic brush that has uh, some nice bend to it. And when it's dry, as you can see here, now it is really dull. It is, uh, the Agrix Earth Shade has gotten the recesses and really dulled down the coat and it's very dull. So I don't want to leave it like this because this is just not it has no character to it. it. Just so now it's time to build up some uh, 
just some thin layers of metallics back up so you can get a nice shine in certain areas while leaving the recesses uh, darker. So I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very light dry brush of brass scorpion over all the surfaces that are facing the light source. So the areas between the legs, uh, all the recesses, the edges, I'm going to leave them uh, the agrax earth shaded areas and the rest of the areas I'm going to build up a really nice just brass shine once again and that way there's some great contrast and it does have that aged appearance. So as you see here I'm just going against the grain with my or kind of perpendicular to the grain with my uh, dry brush and I'm just building up that brass shine once again. I do have to frequently load my brush because I'm just using the base amount of pigments. And for this part, I did not use the thin down paint that I did for the previous step. Uh, I just used from a different batch from the bottle because once you thin it down, it, it, it's counter, counterproductive to thin it down and then try to use it as a dry brush. As you see, I'm just picking on the basically the areas that are facing upwards and leaving the recesses the dark color. And now that we got a, a bit of a shine to it, we're gonna do an even lighter dry brush, focusing on the areas that are facing, basically I'm, I'm focusing on all the areas that my light source is hitting, so from above and a little bit in front, with Rune Lord Brass, the uh, next little brass color from the Citadel range. Luckily, they're all, they're all labeled brass, so you can always tell if you wanna paint brass, just use the ones that have brass in them. And for this one, I'm gonna use an even lighter dry brush. I'm just trying to get a, a bit of a pigments at the top parts, just to build up an even lighter shine to the model and as well as a bit of a gradient of the brass colors. So there'll be not only a gradient of, of the same color and the depth of that, it'll be a gradient of, of lighter colors and lighter colors and that way you get a really nice uh, flowing amount of, of brass colors on this model. So as I said, I'm just focusing on the upward parts with this Rune Lord Brass. And you can actually stop there if you want, but I want to go one step further and build up just one even lighter color. And for this, I'm going to use Golden Griffin, which is an old, really old gold um, from the dry range. And I don't like this gold when doing over golds, but over brass, it actually tends to have a really nice effect. And it is a dry paint, so you can just do a very, very light dry brush with it, since it doesn't have very much medium in it. It's almost entirely pigment. As you can see, I'm just focusing on the areas facing directly, vertically up. And I'm doing a very, very light dry brush, trying to pick up on those edges, just give a little more detail, a little bit more uh, shine and some more contrast to it. That way you get, a, as you can see, there's now a really nice gradient of colors on this brass uh, model. Now most of the time, you'll not be painting the entire armor brass, but this is just a great example of how to paint brass on your miniature. And that's it. So now you know how I paint up this brass model. And as you see, there's a huge amount of contrast, and it just, it, in the end, it comes out very shiny, but does have that old, the older, um, silly worn out appearance that we're going for and that I really do prefer when painting brass. And this is by far the most times I've ever had to say brass in a single video. So as always, thank you so much for watching this episode of Miniature Painting 101. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned a bit about painting brass. It's always fun to paint metallics. Stay tuned for part 67 next week as always, but if you can't wait for next week, check out the warp. Click on the link for a free 14-day trial to my premium YouTube channel, where not only will you get, will you get to see the next six months worth of Miniature Painting 101 episodes, you'll get to see over 50 start-to-finish painting tutorials, dozens of battle reports, face-off episodes, Airbrush 101 series, tons of stuff. Go check out The Warp. I think you'll love it. So stay tuned for next episode. Tonight's time, this is Jay saying, happy painting, everyone.